Recently, someone asked me the question of which restaurants make the highest profit margins. I thought, what a great question. They probably meant to ask me if which restaurants make the most money. Well, after all, you know, the reason why people go into business is to make money, aren't they? Well, you could probably write a book on this question. You think the answer might be high-priced fine dining restaurants? Yes. Well, in most cases, you're wrong. You know, you think that, you know, because they have high-priced food, they make more revenue, which probably they probably are, and they should make more profit. Well, not so the case. Many fine dining restaurants are so obsessed with outdoing each other that they forget about watching their food costs. They also get into the habit of bowing to all the wishes of celebrity high-profile chefs who often prey on owners, investors, egos. Hence the reason why many fine dining restaurants don't last very long. Now back to the question. The best way to achieve the highest profit margin is as follows. Buy to exact specifications to get consistent results and buy well. Buy products in season. Many restaurants are not flexible. If they always use, for example, the same vegetables for a particular dish, they are reluctant to substitute for a cheaper one if they can. Standard recipes. Simply have the same recipes, cook everything the same way all the time. Portion control. This is very important. By increasing the portion sizes 10 to 20% could have a huge difference on the margins and profit margins of the property and business. Portion control. For example, by increasing the size of the meat or fish between 10 and 20% per meal can add up over time. Staff training. Make sure your staff understand all the above. Well-designed menus, which are not too complex. Chefs get upset very easy and can walk out on you if pushed too far. Are the dishes easy enough to cook? The other chefs can step in and maintain the same quality. Good storage and stock control. Look after your stock to ensure maximum life and freshness. When I discuss these items with other people, whether it be clients or students, I always go back to the well-known franchise operations. For example, McDonald's. They've got a basic system which works very well. Hence the reason why well, they've been successful for so long. They know how much everything costs, have well-trained staff, and more importantly, customers know what they're getting all the time. Whether you go to McDonald's on one part of the country or another, whether you go in Paris or London or New York or Sydney or Auckland, your Big Macs and fries are pretty much the same. They do not have high margins, but waste is minimal and they have volume to make profits. Now back to the original question. I have found that Italian, which have mainly pasta and pizza, and Thai seem to have the lowest food costs and highest margins. But actually, you know, most restaurants can have good margins. When they follow the above method and control their costs, they can do very well. It's simply as that. It's a system. Go by the system and you'll know where every cent goes and you know your right, right margins all the time.